Hello family and friends. Um, just wanted to uh, give you a little update here. It's October 1st, 2019. I'm here in Northeast Ohio waiting on um, pickup to go to the Cleveland Airport to go head to Quito, Ecuador. I'm going to be there for uh, approximately two weeks with a friend. Um, he's a long-term uh, missionary over there in Quito. Um, he runs a seminary and um, takes care of, uh, helps out a lot of churches over there. So I'm going to be um, hitting uh, some of the churches over there with him, maybe traveling around. We'll be um, doing an in-flight, um, plane flight over there to hit one of the churches to uh, Cuenca, I believe. Um, don't really know what all to expect as I go, but I'm sure it'll be an adventure. And there's a lot of things I... I uh, Looking forward to uh, to seeing there. So, just wanted to let you know that um, <clears throat> be leaving out of the Cleveland Airport about uh, 1:50 p.m. and have a layover flight at uh, Miami at 4:48, and then from Miami at 6:10 to Quito uh, at 9:22 p.m. So, it's not too long of a flight. And then um, on the way back. Uh, I'll be leaving Quito at 11.55 p.m. and return to Miami at uh, 5.12 a.m. and hopefully be back home in Cleveland at 10.27 a.m. Uh, just a little bit on the uh, price of the flight. If you guys are looking forward to uh, doing a little mission trip down here to Ecuador with Tim, um, he'd really appreciate that. He's looking for groups to come down and um, volunteer either with um, building projects, I believe, or just ministry projects. You can come down if you're a pastor or a teacher. Um, you can come down and help out in a seminary and do a little uh, preaching and teaching uh, if you would like. Um, but uh, for the round trip for myself, uh, I booked about three months in advance with American Airlines, and it was um, $578.28. I thought that was pretty reasonable. Yeah, it's not like going to Israel, <laughs> that expensive flight, but, um, uh, and the probably wonder what shots, if you have to get any shots, uh, Tim and a couple other people suggested that I get the yellow fever shot. <clears throat> it lasts 10 years after you get vaccinated for it. I had a little bit of trouble, um, finding the shot. I called the health department here where I live in Northeast Ohio at one of the counties and um, they just don't have it and, and don't don't administer it. I guess they were having a shortage on, on the vaccination <clears throat> due to a plant shutdown and they're getting this shot from Europe, the one they're using now. So there was a company they directed me to called Passport, I believe. It's um, out of Fairley at one office in Fairlawn and another one in uh, Beechwood, Ohio. Uh, I called up there and um, they were wanting to charge $350. Uh, I was pretty taken aback about how much that was going to cost. And called my insurance company and um, they do not uh, fund any of that. It's all out of pocket cost. So that was all. $350 was going to be on me. So I found one more place through a Google search. It was down in Dublin, I believe, Ohio, just above Columbus. And um, their cost for the vaccination was $250, but that was still a two and a half hour drive. So my next closest big city I tried was Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I called their health department and they did have um, vaccinations on hand and it was uh, $155. So definitely going the right direction. Um, so I opted to uh, drive over there. It's probably about an hour and, hour and 10 minute drive for me. Um, not crazy about the uh, Pittsburgh traffic. That's the only second time I've driven in Pittsburgh. I don't mind driving in Cleveland, Columbus. A lot of them may drove in New Jersey before. Don't mind none of that. Did not enjoy Pittsburgh. But uh, I'm sure if I drive it a few more times, it'll be just fine. <clears throat> so if uh, they said you didn't have to get the yellow fever shot, uh, but it's, it's advised that the Quito is at uh, 9,000 feet elevation. So it's not really what causes the, the transmission of the yellow fever, what I understand, is um, mosquitoes. <clears throat> so at the Quito elevation, it's high elevation, they don't have the mosquitoes, it's just too high for them. To, so you don't really have to worry about it. But if we go down to the um, 
the lower elevations, then you know it's best to be safe, I guess. And then with that other, I've heard about with that other companies with Passport, uh, they really try to um, scare you into getting a lot of the other shots. You could have got a typhoid and a couple of other shots. They, you know, even the health department might recommend if, if you're going to be down there for extended periods of time. But um, like I say, I've, I've heard people say that Passport tries to scare you into getting more shots so they can make more money. But I feel that the yellow fever um, will be plenty. And um, like I say, it, it's good for 10 years. If you want to go to the, any other South American country, some of them do require it um, from what I understand. So I just went ahead and got it anyways. Um, but looking forward to it. Um, <clears throat> pack more luggage at the American Airlines. You're allowed to have... Um, one suitcase uh, that cannot exceed 50 pounds. It's free under 50 pounds. I looked online, if it's over 51 pounds and over, I believe it's an extra 70 to $100 charge if, if you go over your weight on your luggage. So I'm at um, about 47 pounds, I believe. So I should be in good shape. I could take some few things out. I, I got a carry-on bag, a, a backpack. I threw some, some of my heavier clothes in and because I wanted to uh, take some candy down for for t for the Downing family and for some of the kids we go to the church so I bought about uh, seven pounds worth of uh, like Halloween style candy I got packed in my suitcase took up a little bit of weight so looking forward to hand it down out and see what kind of reactions that the little kids what they think about uh, the candy there so I'll try to update this uh, whenever I can sorry I'm not very good at this but um, I'll see what I could do and hope you guys enjoy.